I'm at a gypsy. Like, you probably were one of the guys what, that when Geico did shut down, where it was probably a little bit like, oh, yeah, he might not get a ride, you know? And, and you, you weren't really the big name. Because I would say right now, you're one of the big oh, name yeah. guys in the sport. But then, I mean, you really weren't the the big name guy that it wasn't like a guarantee that you would get that factory no, right but, but then when you when you did like man you i think you're probably pro circuits like main rider now i would say which is crazy to think that just a couple of years ago you were thinking maybe i'll just be going back to japan <clears throat> yeah it's crazy how like what the the confidence i mean that's really um yeah, on the on the um, Geico ride, that's my first year. My like on the starting gate, my leg will literally shake. Really? I'm like, I'm I'm telling guys, guys, I can't even like grip my bike right now. <laughs> like that, like, cause it's so like. I don't know. I I I just took it a little different, like, cause never had this much of big like not pressure but like excitement in japan mm, yeah so it was it was kind of first time for me i'm like damn like this is it's pretty crazy you know so <laughs> like i have my leg shaking i can't even like i don't, I didn't even have a grip strength <laughs> um yeah yeah it, it, it makes sense man it, it makes sense that it would have been a extremely overwhelming uh thing to to have to go through and yeah to feel like maybe you don't belong here like maybe i'm not fast enough but when did it start to turn around because now like i said you're one of the main dude like if you didn't hurt your collarbone i'm looking at you and hunter to battle for the supercross championship this year and i think everyone's looking at you like that <laughs> No, that's that's very really, really thankful but um only only the thing i had since i was little i had a really well i had a good um fitness i would say mm. like i was able to like push f fine at the races i mean obviously not like up here but as a rookie it's kind of hard to like push full for 30 minutes but I was like okay with that, so always, you know, shaky, shaky start, <laughs> bad start, and then, and then I'll come back to like seventh, eighth, and then yeah, last round of <laughs> outdoor, uh, for the first time I I got a good start, um, just kept the pace and then and then landed on the podium. So I feel like yeah, the the fitness, um. Like that's what's helping me right now too. If I didn't have a fitness like last outdoors, um, obviously Jet and Hunter is really fast. Justin Cooper is fast. So, um, yeah, one of my I think strongest thing is, um, I'm not not the best, but I'm okay with like pushing to the end. So that helped me a lot. And and so you'd think that's just natural, like even since you're a kid, you're always just really fit. Mm, not, not really. I was fit at first, but just when I train, I never, uh, not really. I didn't really give up on anything, mm. but always, I was always riding like ninety percent. Yeah, yeah. So maintaining, maintaining, so. Yeah. Yeah, like beginning of the moto, I'll be kind of slow, but I have a a big feel to the end. Yeah, yeah. And in some races, that kind of helped me. But yeah, now I'm I'm at the good spot. Well, I think I think the other thing that that probably helps you with your like being there and being strong to the end is just like your technique on the bike is just crazy good. Like, I mean, you're one of the riders where you can pause the video and every time you pause the video you're just perfectly stacked in line like your technique it never it never seems like 
you're in bad positions on the motorcycle. And I, I think that's another little secret as to why, you know, you're able to be fit is because you're just very, very efficient when you ride. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, that's that's the um, strong part of me, I think. And and that's a not, uh, also another <laughs> thing. That's why um, people tell me I'm sandbagging. <laughs> Oh really? Because of how my writing looks like, so. But I'm really not. I'm trying my best. So. <laughs> where? So where did you get that technique from? Is that something that, like, your dad was really good with, or like you study the 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 writers? Because, like, to me, you're like the Japanese Ken Roxon, I think. Oh well, um, I wasn't I wasn't good at all first, like, clutch pulling clutch wide open and kind of <laughs> sketchy type of rider at first uh but yeah my dad uh my my dad liked uh you know stefan everts yeah yes sir i do right he loved like uh, his standing up style like just yeah. how he ride the motorcycle so i uh i did one of the race without the, like a seat cover he's like <laughs> you go race like this, you're not going to sit once. I'm like, all right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> race like that and stuff. But most of my technique come from, I think I had a um, trainer, my first trainer, his name is Yanin Carvella. Um, we, we worked on so many standing up, um, fundamental thing, trying less break, less clutch. There's all like all little like fundamental stuff, like simple stuff, but, like over over time like just came literal natural to me yeah um still like lots of way to work but um smoother side like yeah i think he helped me a lot yeah yeah because it's uh yeah i think you're one of the rare riders that you've got that really good technique and so smooth when you ride but you've got like your own style. Like you don't look like a a robot when you ride, and you, you know you've got cool positions that you kind of get in, and you've got your own flair. But then every time you pause that video, like it's it's perfect. It's a cool. It's like a kind of a cool balance to have. I don't think. I think you either get people that are like loose as fuck and just sending it and like swinging off the clutch and holding okay. the thing wide open. Or you've got the guys that are like perfect technique and they look like robots. And I think you've yeah. got like a really good mix of those two things. Yeah, I mean, also, also though, every every writer want to post better videos, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, like your good, good, like good day, good side video yeah. all the time. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's, that's true, right? Like Instagram so yeah, versus reality. That's right. Yeah, it's like, there's no way people are perfect like that every lab. We're excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, gypsytales.com, packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang. <laughs>